this is already starting off to be a very messy packing process. Ooh. Hi everybody, I'm Jessica Nicole Dickerson, aka JD, and welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, you might be looking at this background going, what the actual F is this? What's happening, Jess? Have you been kidnapped? No, I have not, but I have started my moving process. So, if you've been here for a few months, Yay, thanks for subscribing and being a subscriber. You're a real MVP. But, you know, I've been living with my parents for a few months in Hawaii because of quarantine, being kicked off campus. So it's been an awkward few months where I've been with them and some of my things have been in storage. Yada, yada, yada. Bunch of BS. But I'm finally going back to LA and having my own place. And I'm so excited to just have a bed. Like, that's it. Period. So excited. Um, so yeah, this is my first moving vlog, which is really going to be a packing vlog. Um, I have like a couple suitcases here that I brought from California that I need to kind of repack. And I also bought a extra large duffel that's by my feet. Um, so hopefully I can fit tons of stuff in there because I recently purchased a lot of self-tape stuff like stands and camera and lighting and I'm trying to travel with it. So we'll see if I can pack all this stuff in a minim minimum of, of three to four bags. Probably not gonna happen, but that's the goal. Cause I don't want to get charged to bringing too many carry on or check in. Yeah, that's just too stressful. If if I don't want to get charged way extra for bringing in too many bags, so we'll see how to tackle this area. But a lot of the storage you see this way are my parents. My stuff is down below. But let's get into it. And this is the new duffel. It's literally so big. And you can see the box that my ring light came in because I wanted to ship it back. But now that USPS is not reliable, I'm going to not do that. Um, so yeah, it's massive. Like that's the suitcase I came with. This is the one I'm trying to leave with so it could fit the ring light. Uh, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do to try and get all of the filming stuff in there. Fingers freaking crossed. A method I like to use for like packing in general, especially because the clothes I wear are so tiny because I wear a lot of crop tops, you know, living in Hawaii, in California, I don't have a lot of like sweaters and things, even though I'm literally folding a sweater right now, but I like to roll it so it's really compact. So yeah, and then I push everything together and start making little rows to lay down on the base of the duffel bag to cushion the ring light. So now I'm just gonna keep rolling things. I also like to leave out one sweater and like my baggiest jeans for the airport because girl gets chilly. I have the appliances that I use, like, um, I say appliances, it's not like a kitchen appliance, but like, my switch, <laughs> um, and a lot of charging stuff, so I have to figure out where I'm going to put these. Probably won't put them in the duffel because I don't want them to break, because I'm checking the duffel. Okay, so issue number one has already happened, let me take off my mask. I was bringing the duffel up to the storage level, obviously we live on a different level, the apartment, the new apartment that my parents moved into. And I was bringing it over, and it has wheels at the bottom, so I was wheeling it over, but I could kind of hear it scraping the ground. So I checked the bottom of the bag, and there's a little hole in, the, in it already. So I've managed to break it already. So I got... So I got tape, and I'm going to tape the whole clothes, and I'm going to put a bag, trash bag layer at the bottom, tape it down, so it's just secure. This is already starting off to be a very messy packing process.
my clothes folded and laid out so my both my suitcases are empty of clothes I kind of have everything categorized so I have like larger things that I want to put at the base of the duffel that are very sturdy same with these are a lot of cotton like sleep shirts and like workout shirts that I wear and then I don't know if you can tell back here I have a lot of bras and, and bag of undies and then I have all my smaller shirts lined up here so it's like all my clothes I mean, it seems like a lot, but I you know it's not too much. And then I have like all my socks. I don't know why I have so many socks. But yeah, now I'm gonna transfer all of that to the bottom of the duffel to create a base. base is all done that took like almost half my clothes now I'm a little worried I don't have enough clothes to um like build this we'll see <laughs> So this is what I've done. I've emptied out ex most of the clothes. These are a few clothes I'm gonna leave out for the next three days that I have to stay in Hawaii. So this is completely empty. There's the kind of softer shirts that I didn't really wanna put in the duffel because I'm scared they're gonna break. But I've almost packed the duffel halfway through and I don't have any more clothes. That's empty. This is full of miscellaneous like books and journals that I'm gonna probably just keep in there or somehow stack in there. But yeah, that's day one so I'm gonna just kind of clean this up because I do have to film a couple other things before I completely pack everything away but you know what this might be a little easier than I thought yay so I think that's it for day one um, day two I'm gonna be focusing mostly on packing up the books I have two big boxes of books I when I first came to Hawaii I had like 11 books that I had brought over and now I have over 40 I'll go through all of the books um, in the next day, in day two, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I've completely emptied out my zebra bag, my black expendable bag. The goal is, is to get to the airport with as minimal bags as possible. And hopefully I can just check my zebra bag and my big duffel and just bring my black expendable bag as light as possible. Because all my clothes fit into this huge duffel and it doesn't even like fill it. So. That's exciting, but also a little nerve-wracking because I know they're going to toss it around in the airport and I don't want my ring light to break. Basically, that's why I'm stuffing it with all my clothes because I want my ring light to survive so I don't have to purchase another one. It was 80 bucks, so hopefully I can save that coin. We'll see, man, but I'm sweaty. It's so hot in here, so I'm going to come back tomorrow and tackle the books. And I'll put a whole section in here with all the books that I'm taking with me which will be exciting you'll see all the books I've accumulated if you haven't been paying attention to my hauls or whatnot so stay tuned hello so as you can probably tell it's day two of packing and I actually didn't pack yesterday so it is currently Tuesday night so last time you saw me I was it was Sunday and I was supposed to pack all my books and stuff yesterday so that way I would have gotten a lot of packing done but I didn't um <laughs> So, uh, yesterday, uh, it was just, you know, I was being lazy, and then, on top of that, last night, I had a low blood sugar moment, and felt very sick and ill, so it's just been procrastinating, so it's like 11 o'clock at night now. I feel much better after resting and eating proper meals and stuff, but yeah, I have all my books to go through, and I decided I would show you all the the books that I have accumulated during quarantine it's a lot just be prepared but yeah I have to fit them all in this suitcase 
over here if you can see it <laughs> and then i have a lot of miscellaneous stuff behind me that i also need to fit somewhere but i finished packing my duffel it is so heavy they're probably gonna charge me for the weight but you know what it's gotta it's gotta come with me there's there's no way i could leave all my clothes behind so let's just jump into all the books you know that i've accumulated it's a lot be prepared so we have some books i was currently in the middle of reading so we have wondersmith by jessica townsend the library of the unwritten ray bearer red rising ninth house by lee bardugo a phoenix first must burn by patricia cladwell i think i have three plays i accumulated during school that i want to read at some point and a little cute card from the lmu theater department that has a couple of my friends in it we have a acting book about building character another acting book about professional acting the costs and whatnot then we have a song below water by bethany c mauer <laughs> i forgot somewhere only we know by maureen goo ember queen by laura sabatine uprooted by naomi novik something like that naomi novik <laughs> love from a to z which i'm actually unhauling i'm gonna leave this with my parents and they can deal with it because i have a very hateful relationship with this watch my other videos if you don't understand why i've talked about it plenty the actor's survival guide by jenna fisher which i highly recommend if you're into acting it was a very helpful and inspirational then acting on the script by bruce miller my fat yearbook that they mailed to me which is really cool <laughs> then we have the black veins which i'm still in the middle of reading a forge of fire and stars the chosen ones by veronica roth black leopard red fox by marlon james house of earth and blood by sarah j mass or crescent city she's hefty and she is going to be on a current tbr spoiler alert if you don't know, I always do my TBRs, and they're always very long and outlandish, so you should watch them. Go check it out. I think it's already up. Um, and then We Should All Be Feminists. And that was the first box of books. The second box of books is much larger, so get ready. Jackpot by Nick Stone. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. The End and Other Beginnings by Veronica Roth. Skies Without Stars, or Sky Without Stars, actually. <laughs> then we have the Binti Trilogy. The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. The next one in the series, um, what's it called again? <laughs> A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir. If We Were Villains by M. L. Rio. The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Crown with Feathers, or Crown of Feathers. Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Warrior of the Wind by Trisha Levenseller. Little in Line by Brandy Colbert, Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson, Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson, The Vanishing Deep by Astrid Schultz, Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Osvedo, The Kingdom of Back by Mary Lou, Honor Among Thieves, You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson, The Black Flamingo by Dean Ada, I Wanna Be Where You Are by Christina Forrest, Let Me Hear a Rhyme by Tiffany D. Jackson, Blanca and Ruja by... Um, Anna Marie Micklemore. <gasps> Only a few more books. <laughs> Who Put That Song On by Morgan Parker. Last Two Things is Black Liberation and The Runaways Volume 3, I believe. Yeah. And those are all the books. There's so many and I have to figure out how to fit them in my suitcase. This is going to be an issue. Uh, that was a struggle to say the least um, but most of my stuff is cleared I do have a stack of books here that I don't think I am going to keep um, they are duplicates slash books I've read that I've disliked a lot but I still I fit most of my boxes in but I don't know if you could tell I still have some books in here that I'm just gonna have to have my parents ship which kind of suck because I'm probably gonna drop tons of money checking all three of these bags in so good thing is I fit most of my stuff into these three bags but they are incredibly heavy which means I might have to pay way too much money to get them shipped oh but I did fit a lot of books in here this is full of books it's so dense and then I also have 
tons of books and these stuff in here. I can't lift it, so I definitely can't check it. <laughs> or not check it, but bring it on as my carry-on. And then lastly, I have the big duffel here that is basically packed with all my clothes. Also incredibly heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. It's 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 been a struggle, let's just be real. Um, I also need to figure out how to cushion some of these bags just a little bit better, so I have to probably like use this stuff the stuff i'm going to sleep in to cushion it or something but yeah we'll figure that out tomorrow hopefully i'll update you later if not thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it and my chaotic packing mess this is the beginning of book or moving vlogs i was about to say book vlogs the beginning of moving vlogs um so stay tuned i'm definitely gonna do like building furniture and all this fun stuff as i move back to la so thanks for joining me and i'll see you in the next one